Jay the Rat Specialist back at the shop finishing up a wrap on the Ferrari 812. Difficult vehicle, difficult film to work with and of course on the very last piece right when I'm using the very last piece of material that I have left I mess up. No good. Yes I ran out of material but before we move on to that I want to tell you what went wrong. I lifted the material too many times. Put my hands underneath the film. So of course I got it dirty, got some dirt in there. Overheating the material. Literally making the material lose the glossiness because you're not supposed to use so much heat. But of course, I was struggling, I was losing my patience, and in the very end, I ended up ripping it off. Ferrari has no roof wrap at the moment. We ran out of material, which means that with my luck, it was out of stock. So I had to call everyone asking them, do you have one yard, just one yard, so that I can finish this car? <laughs> that makes it look like And no one had it but one person and that one person of course was across town So we went almost an hour away to go get it and now here we are about to give it attempt number two But this time we're gonna take our time be extra patient and I'm gonna show you what I'm using this for So at first glance this roof looks super simple. You see how nice and smooth it looks, but we got one issue. This here antenna is not coming off. And the reason it's not coming off, unlike 99% of cars we always do, this one is not coming off because it had previously been taken off or messed with. And it's too risky for us to go underneath there and kind of mess with it after someone else did already. We're gonna keep it on, but that makes it super difficult. I'm gonna show you how I work around antennas like this whenever you can't take it off because there is times for some reason either you don't feel comfortable taking this off you don't have the tools or anything else there's a way to make it happen even if it's still on since we can't take off the antenna for whatever reason you gotta have one of two things one of these or some tape most of y'all are gonna have that and usually that's what i prefer but this is also a really cool tool they call it wrap bend it for obvious reasons and the way this thing works is you can literally wrap it around any object and get the shape of it the reason you're going to want to do that is because before you lay the roof you have to cut out the shape of the antenna. Let me just do it real quick, not perfect. So right there I have the shape of the antenna and I could always go and cut it on the film before I lay it. The way I like and prefer the most is by using some blue tape. I already did this one, but I go on the vehicle and I lay tape all the way around the antenna so I could get that shape. So when I take it off, it has the exact shape of that antenna there. I went ahead and used the tape template instead of this one because this is the one I prefer. It's a bit easier and I feel like more accurate. I took some measurements from the vehicle and I brought them over to the film so like that I could center it and kind of guess where exactly that antenna is going to go. But I do give myself extra material on the front, back, sides, just in case I don't get it 100% right. The biggest mistake I made yesterday, the first time I tried the roof, was to cut the exact size of that antenna and even though you do get the exact size because the color of the vehicle is white any little edge on there that you don't get perfectly good is gonna show so what I did what I'm gonna do this time and what you should do every single time is cut a little bit more on the inside of that shape so like that you give yourself a little extra room just in case kind of mess up on there and it also gives you extra room so you can tuck the material underneath that antenna and that's what we're
take it out. So you see this blue tape right here? The reason I put that there is for a reason because whenever we were laying that film, you saw how smooth it laid on there and that's because of that tape. If I didn't put it, the film would have been sticking to that antenna and makes it even more difficult to lay. Make sure you tape up that antenna right before you lay that film. It helps a lot. I even put some on the back here because I don't want the material to stick to that. So whenever I lift the material on there, it should be easier. You see how quickly it comes up? That tape helps a lot. Notice how before I cut the material, I mentioned that you have to cut it smaller than the actual antenna size. And the reason for that is so that you have a little bit of extra material so you can tuck underneath there, but never bridge the material. I always kind of lift it a little bit and then I tuck it in. So that's what I'm doing right now. That's why I'm not automatically just cutting the material. And I am sweating like crazy today because apparently our AC, I think, just went out today or something. Feels like we're outside. <laughs> just because you add blue tape to it does not mean that the blade is not gonna go through it will go through blue tape like nothing see that antenna right there that is not the last piece that's left on this i actually have 16 and a half extra inches from that antenna towards the back i have a 90 degree turn right here and then i have to continue it going towards the back this piece gets in the way of making that happen so very very tricky difficult Denfi takes that extra work to get it all the way down there so i still gotta cut around this here i gotta cut around this piece so it's a few things going on here and very very tricky i'm already like an hour and a half in sweating like crazy but this thing is almost ready i want to finish it up today That roof is complete, all the way finished up, except that antenna. That's gonna be the last thing we do to finish up this car. But overall, a very difficult, super detailed, not easy. I'm gonna mention that a few times, not easy. <laughs> but we made it happen. Definitely worth that extra work because it looks phenomenal. That color is nice. Can't wait to see this thing put back together. And we're gonna finish it off with some ceramic coating. So make sure you check us out and I'll see you guys next time. And I also hope you learned a trick or two from watching this video.